guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be just a quick little video sharing my book haul from the book outlet. Now, I had no clue this place existed, and why I've never heard of this place, I don't know, but thank you to Shauna over at World of Washaba for sharing about this wonderful place. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, Book Outlet is like an online retailer that, uh, I guess they buy books from companies that are closing out or from businesses that don't sell the books at a certain price point, and so, I guess they get a really good price on them. And then we end up getting awesome deals on books. So most of the books that I have to show you guys today have been sitting in my Amazon cart for quite some time. And I am so excited and so pleased to get these awesome prices on them. I will put a link in the description down below for your first order. You can get, I think it's $10 off, like a $25 or $30, $35 purchase. I don't remember. Um, it'll be down in the description. I used the same thing when Shauna shared on her video about it. So if you use that link to sign up, then they will give you a code and you'll get $10 off. And trust me, when you see some of the books that they have on here, you'll want to visit it. Okay, so the books that I'm sharing with you today aren't necessarily still available. There are some times when they have just small quantities of things. I am going to share the prices with you guys. I had to print it out from my email because it's not on the packing slip. So, the first thing I'm going to share with you is I have had this book in my Amazon cart for some time. And I got this with my oldest in mind. He's in fifth grade. Um, and also, I want to read it too. So, The Notorious Benedict Arnold, The True Story of Adventure, Heroism, and Treachery. So, he actually, we just got this box today, and he actually already started reading this today. So, um, the price of this was, it's not on that one. The price of this was $3.91. Okay, so the next one I've actually never heard of, but I love Cynthia Ryland. She is one of my favorite children's authors. And so there were several of these books on there, and I thought that they looked like an interesting, quick little chapter book read. And also, it was very cheap. This book was only $1.83, and so I thought that looked like a good one just for us to try out. But it looks really good, and I think we may end up, you know, getting some of the other ones. The next one, My Sophie. We don't call her Sophie. We call her by her name, Sophia. But she is six, and she loves these little chapter books. And so this one actually was only... $2.23, you guys. Awesome deals on these books. It's crazy. And I will tell you my total at the end, but I'm just blown away. So anyway, so it's Sophie Mouse and the Missing Tooth Fairy. Okay, so the next one I'm super excited about. So in my, I will link it down below, but I shared what our read alouds are for this school year. And so I had bought this one, The Witch Way to the Wild West. Everything your school books didn't tell you about America's Westward Expansion. However, I paid Amazon prices for this. And I wanted the one about King George. And guess what, you guys? Ah, they had the King George. What was his problem book? And I wanted to get this. And I only paid $3.51. Yay! All right, so the next one, I am honestly surprised that we didn't already have this in our collection. I've actually never read this with the kids. I read it as a child. Um, we have the third one, I think, in the series, and Marcus loves it, and so I thought he would love this, and it's hardback. So the price that I paid for the mouse and the motorcycle was $5.88, a hardback version. So I thought that was really good. The next one I got is the Little Critter Fall Storybook Favorites. We actually don't have a lot of like fall themed books and we check a lot of that kind of stuff out from the library, but I did want to just have some on hand just to always have. And 
Little Critter is just sweet. I used to love the Little Critter books when I was a kid and my kids are starting to get into it, some of my younger ones. And so this one right here, I only paid $5.43 for. And it is hardback and it's a collection of Little Critter stories. The next one I got is I love the Bernstein Bears. And um, so this one was super cheap. That's why I went ahead and picked it up. There was actually a couple of others I wanted to get. This was $2.63. The next book is another one I've had in my Amazon cart for a while, and that is by The Great Horn Spoon. And I will add this probably as a summer read aloud because what we are studying in U.S. history this year kind of ends at the Westward Expansion. So this book I got for only $2.63. Our used bookstore didn't even have it that cheap. The next book is a book that I love and I wanted to get my own copy of it. I checked it out from the library originally, but this book was only $5. So yay, if you haven't read this, it's really good. So the next one is a book that we were just reading, Strawberry Girl. I love Lois Linsky, and I don't own this book, and now I do. So I um, paid, let's see, $2.63 for Strawberry Girl. It's a great book. This, my friends, has been in my Amazon cart for a while. And I have been wanting to read it. And I did check it out um, on the Libby app. I do like to listen to audiobooks, but I am just much more of a give me the book in my hand, let me flip its pages kind of person. So this book I paid only $3.51 for awesome deal on that. All right, so the last one that I got is a storybook read aloud kind of version of The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, and the pictures in this book are amazing. So, um, I did go ahead and order this one. I thought that the kids would enjoy it. So, this one I paid, so this book, the hardback version, I did pay a little bit more for, I didn't realize I paid that much for it, $6.07, which I guess still isn't terrible. So my total with my $10 coupon, you guys, for 12 books, cheaper than what I could have got all of these from our used bookstore, much cheaper. And I know I wouldn't have been able to find some of them because I've looked before for some of these. But with my $10 coupon, I paid, with tax, free shipping, because if you order $35, it's free shipping. Free shipping with tax and my $10 coupon, it was only $38.52. So as I said before, I will post that link so that you can get a coupon as well. Then you'll get your own link to share with your friends so they can get a coupon. And you do earn reward points on your future purchases when you do that. So I hope that you guys enjoyed that book haul. Make sure that you head over to Book Outlet and check it out because you guys, oh my goodness. I have to be careful though now because now they're showing up with ads on my Instagram and my Facebook and they get me every time. I have a constant shopping cart on there. I haven't ordered anything again yet. I'm trying to use self-control. But go check it out because they really do have awesome deals. And thank you so much for stopping by, guys. And I'll see you on future videos.